Start off by saying your name in relation to Grayson. Um, my name is uh, Mike Anson, and I was Grayson's um, somewhat boyfriend. Uh, we never really got the chance to talk about uh, labels. I wish we were though. Kiss me once and it felt like heaven. So you two were close? We could have been. Can you tell me about it? He was practically the king of our grade. He had everything. He always got incredible grades. He was the captain of the football team and he was really hot. We were really close friends. A shame what happened to him. But I guess whatever happens, happens. When I heard about what happened, I was so shocked at our students' reactions. When Mike reached out to me, I was so relieved that he wouldn't take the same path as Grayson. I think all gay people are sinners. There's no doubt about that. It's written in the Bible. That's interesting because our research team found that you only agreed to do this so you could reconnect with your son. Didn't you kick him out because you saw a picture of him kissing a guy on Facebook? I just want my son back. How have you been coping? It um, took some time, but I'm definitely better than where I was months ago. I had Mike undergo writing therapy. It's where you write down your pain in a story or a song, or sometimes just random words. So far, so good. He's already written his story about Grayson, and uh, he called it Rainbows. I want to go back to the students' story on this, and I wanted to know what the school did when they found, about, found out about Mike being a victim to both online and physical bullying. Well, we had a talk with every student in the school, about bullying, tolerance, respect, and acceptance. When we found out who the main bullies were, suspensions were put in place, and hopefully from all of this, we learned something. I think it was a tragic thing that happened to Grayson. I definitely think that justice needs to be served for him. Amelia, your statements have really surprised me. Really? How? Well, we actually had a research team to look through every detail of the story and we chose everyone interviewed for a specific reason. We chose you because you were actually the person who posted the photo of Grayson and Mike kissing. You tagged all their friends and family to see. You practically forced both of them to come out just by doing that. That's technically called online privacy violation and charges could be made against you. What? No, no, no. Turn that off. That's not true. For set, turn that thing! Do you have anything to say for the people who are going through similar things? Um, there's a, definitely a cliche saying, but it's something that's true. Uh, sometimes things get a little tough and a little dark, but we always pull through, no matter what. Know that there's the calm before the storm, followed by the storm. And it all ends with a rainbow glowing in the sky. And that's the cycle of it all.